now working as a researcher at the Heino Center at the University of Norland. But uh, when I was a student some years ago, um, to be sincere, I, uh, I, thought, I never thought that one day I would have a chance to share my experience with the royal family. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for this uh, great opportunity and honor to present it here today. I grew up in the north of Russia and also as a scholar of the cooperation program. I spent uh, two years uh, in northern Norway, in Buda, uh, as a master's student studying uh, logistics and transportation. Uh, so I experienced the high north uh, in both countries, in Norway and Russia, uh, and that made me curious. What is so special about this uh, area, about the high north, that uh, makes it so distinct from other parts of the world? Yes, it has many challenges. It's dark there, it's cold, it's fragile. But uh, one of the main challenges it has for, for the development of the high north is the lack of infrastructure. Um, in uh, more flat and warm regions, uh, it's quite simple. You can build a road, buy a truck, and enjoy stable logistics. But if there is no road, it's hard to drive even if you are a very good driver. And uh, probably then one needs other mechanisms, uh, maybe social ones, to uh, move something from point A to point B. In my dissertation, PhD dissertation I defended last year uh, at the University of Norland, I'm showing that uh, modern theories, which are so well established uh, and widely used in the South, cannot be uh, simply uh, applied in the North. And instead, in my opinion, the High North is the right context to challenge these well-developed theories and to develop them further on. Thank you very much.